story time with Mama G. Come and hear a story with me. Love who you want to be, who you are. Learn these lessons and we'll go far. It's story time. Story time. Story time with Mama G. Hello, everybody. Mama G here. Thank you for joining me again for another story time with Mama G. And whilst you're here, why don't you subscribe to my YouTube channel or find me on Facebook and Instagram. Just search for at Mama G Stories. Now, if you are here, then you have already heard parts one and two of the adventures of Uncle Lubin, and you are about to hear parts three and four. Now, on our previous adventures, Uncle Lubin's little nephew Peter was stolen by a bag bird and Uncle Lubin decided to set off and find his nephew. Now his first adventure took him up to the moon. So let's find out where his third adventure takes him. Just look at the beautiful boat that Uncle Lubin built in order that he may search the seas for little Peter. In this boat, little Peter's uncle sailed and sailed for many months till he came to an island in the very middle of the sea. Here he found a little old man who was crying most bitterly. What is the matter with you? asked Uncle Lubin kindly. The little old man looked at him through his tears and told him the following story. My name is Vama Dopper, and many years ago, when I was quite young, I met a giant who was laughing. I said to him, why do you laugh? But he took no notice of me and went on laughing. I thought at first that he must be deaf, so I asked him why he kept on laughing again and again, but the more I shouted at him, the more he laughed, till at last I could bear it no longer. I was so angry with him that I drew my sword to fight him, but when I rushed at him to make a stroke, he bent down and with a puff blew me off my feet as though I were a feather. Over the clouds he blew me, and over the mountains and seas, till I dropped on this island where I have remained ever since. Uncle Lubin once more set sail in search of little Peter, though not before saying goodbye to poor Vama Dopper and kissing him kindly. For many months sailed he, till at last he came to the land of Chilblains where he very quickly became frozen up. Mind you, he wasn't frightened in the least, but soon he made up his mind to bravely continue his search on foot. One evening, after tramping ever so many weary miles over the chilly ice fields, Uncle Lupin heard the faraway note of the bagbird teasing him and calling him names from the top of an iceberg. Lubin ran towards the bird, and as you see in the picture, he began to thaw it in two with the flame of his candle. The iceberg soon began to totter, and in a little while it fell, but sad to say, it fell upon the poor head of Uncle Lubin, while the wicked bag bird, with scream Witches of joy flew away into the night, still carrying little Peter in its beak. Well, will Uncle Lubin ever get little Peter back? There is only one way to find out, to continue with the adventures of Uncle Lubin. So I'll see you next time. Bye. It's story time with Mama G. Come and hear a story with me. Love who you want to be, who you are. Learn these lessons and we'll go far. It's story time. Story time. Story time with Mama Jean.